Hi, I'm William, and I'm $69,210.32 in medical debt. Well, it was fun while it lasted, Little Willies, but I'm gonna have to start selling all my stuff to pay this medical bill. Anybody want this ballistics gel hand from the garbage disposal video? You wanna buy this garbage disposal? We're gonna do a little garage sale. Classic American insurance. How about a laser baby? A toy fire truck that was used to train Jimmy Neutron to put out fires. Add that to the pile. This is one of my most prized possessions. It's a George W. Bush Top Gun action figure. I bought it at a swap meet <laughs> like two years ago. I guess I could get rid of these too. A bunch of Michael Reeves merchandise that he abandoned and left with me. I bought a bunch and then never sold it and then now they're mine. Every single Michael Reeves nut shirt I sell will be personally signed by me, William Osmond. Thanks Michael for helping me pay my medical debt. <laughs> I have an engineering degree, electrical and mechanical, and I would love to build my own medical equipment to prove that $69,000 is insane. I could build my own medical equipment for way cheaper than that, but I don't have time because I am a slave to medical debt now. I have to sell all my things. I have to sell my friend's belongings. I, oh, I forgot. There's a new t-shirt too. Another cat warehouse product. This was drawn by me and it's embroidered. It's a cat pooping in a litter box. And uh, I'll, I'll sell anything I have in order to pay for this debt. But right now, I can't build my own medical equipment because I have more important things to do. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm digging a hole. Why? It's a grave. <laughs> so that next time I get sick, Instead of going to the hospital, I'll just die. No. Why not? What else are you gonna do with the body? No, we have medical insurance. You don't need a grave. Your responsibility is 2,491. Wait, so I don't owe $69,000? No, we have medical insurance. <laughs> Whoa! I'm only $2,500 in debt instead of $69,000. That means we have plenty of time and budget to make an x-ray machine in the garage. But I only have one question. Why did the hospital bill so much more money than they were ever paid? The hospital tried to bill me $69,000, but only got paid $11,000. Insurance steps in and says, geez, nuts, we're not paying $69,000. So that makes insurance the good guys, right? Wrong, Billy boy. The reason hospitals charge so much is because they know insurance is gonna lowball them. The problem is hospitals treat uninsured people the exact same way. What you're supposed to do is the same thing that insurance does with hospitals. You fight them. You tell them no. But I've done some research and I've learned that it costs us about $500 a month for each adult to be insured on a really good insurance plan. Plus $2,500 for a hospital visit. That means this year I paid $8,500. You know what costs a lot less than $8,500? This 60,000 volt power supply I got on eBay for $400. 60,000 volts. Turning it on. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> and for $155, I got this x-ray vacuum tube that I pulled out of an old dental x-ray head bought on eBay. <laughs> I just had to drain a bunch of oil and rip off the broken high voltage circuitry and bada bing, bada boom. Got yourself a x-ray tube. Now I know some of you are probably thinking, William, you're not nearly responsible or smart enough to be playing with high voltage. Well, I say to you, pound sand. I have health insurance and my will to do science is significantly stronger than my will to live. No, it's not, it's not. no I'm just trying to say that I, I would rather do science and die than not do science. All we have to do is get the high voltage out of the danger box and into the x-ray tube. Should be easy, right? I've got this red wire wired up to positive and this black wire wired up to ground and I'll just turn the power supply on and see what happens. Ready? Turning it on. Throwing it off. <laughs> hmm, interesting. See, none of our wires are touching, so I'm not really sure why the electricity is not flowing through them. Let's try moving this wire a little bit further away and see what happens. All right, turning it on again. Huh. <laughs> That's not right either. Welcome to the world of high voltage, where everything's a wire and you're probably gonna die. <laughs> Okay, I, I have an idea. If you look right here, this resistor that was a part of the high voltage supply 
and it's kind of leaning a little bit over the tube. So let's, let's move, I hate touching this. Let's just move that this way. All right, and now we're turning it on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can hear it hissing. I really wanna get the microphone over there, but I'm scared of frying it. All right, let's turn the box off. Ow, ow, why is this shocking me? This is the box. It's not arcing, not big arcs at least, which means we're on the, we're on the right track. So now we need to work on the next step, which is turning the tube on. We actually need two power supplies because up until this point, we haven't actually been making any x-rays. That's what this power supply is for. This is just a regular power supply. We don't need high voltage here. We need to activate a filament, which is kind of like a little light bulb in the back end of the x-ray tube. The filament boils off electrons, which then get launched to this piece of heavy metal, this copper color thing right in the middle. And then that ejects x-rays through this aperture at the bottom of the container. Let's go ahead and hook this bad boy up. According to the x-ray tube data sheet, the filament ground should be right here. I guess we'll just plug it in and see what happens. Let's do 3.5 volts and we're gonna turn our current all the way down so it's current limited. And then as I turn the current up, we should hopefully see something happen. No? I'm an idiot, I had the probe hooked onto the piece of wire insulation and not the wire itself. Slowly increase the current. Oh, you see it glowing? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, oh, that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna turn it off now. Little willies, we're about 30 seconds away from making x-rays. All we have to do is turn both power supplies on at the same time. But before we do that, we need to take some safety precautions. Because here on the William Osmond channel, safety is our number one priority. I bought two radiation detectors. I bought a giant roll of lead sheet metal, and I'm gonna repurpose parts from the dental x-ray head to protect some of my most valuable assets. The Geiger counter is directly underneath. Personal Geiger counter is going in my belt. We're gonna turn the small power supply on with the current all the way down. Turning the high voltage on, and then we're gonna slowly increase the current. Oh, you hear it? The Geiger counter is very angry with us. This is a good thing. It means we made x-rays in the garage. We made x-rays. Let's celebrate with an ice cream cone. Oh, 10, oh, you're closed. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is so sad. All right, what can I get for you? Could I get uh, an ice cream cone? I'm so sorry, we actually don't have shakes or ice cream right now. Do you have pies? Unfortunately, no. We do have chocolate chip cookies, though. We're generating x-rays, but we still need to capture the image. That's what this intensifying screen is for. Can you guess where I bought it? <laughs> We can create an image with the phosphor screen. When we run x-rays through it, they turn into visible light in the phosphor, and that visible light can then be measured by us with either a camera or with a piece of film. So if we stick our phosphor screen on the ground below the x-ray generator, and we put four soda cans on top of it, and then put this piece of acrylic on top of that, and then we put a subject like maybe real human finger bones cast in ballistics gel. And when we blast x-rays through it, we should see this film glow with the shadow of finger bones cast on it. That's cool, that, tell me that's not cool. Let's fire off some x-rays right now and see if we can get the sheet to glow at all. It might be too bright in here. I've set the A7S to a 15 second shutter at 64,000 ISO. All right, high voltage on. All right, I think we got a picture. Oh, look at this. We totally have an image. That is so cool. The contrast is really bad, but I wonder if we can fix that in Photoshop. That is, that, this is awesome. I think this is really amazing. I mean, this is an actual x-ray of real human bones. This is my magnum opus, the most dangerous contraption I have ever built. It's an actual working x-ray machine made out of garbanzo beans, baked beans, canned tuna, New England clam chowder, a piece of leaded glass, an intensifying screen, a broken dental x-ray head, and a power supply that came out of a college lab and has been beaten to the brink of death. There's something I wanna to talk to you guys about. Safety and the relative nature of it. Because I can already feel the safety nerds two feet up into my butt and I'm gonna lose it. This 
is dangerous, but it's not that dangerous. Have you ever been in a car? Have you ever gone to the doctor and gotten an x-ray? Have you gotten a CT scan? Dear God, let's talk about the amount of radiation exposure you get from a CT scan. And what is radiation? X-rays do statistically increase your odds of getting cancer later in life. Statistically, if you keep your exposure to a minimum, you are perfectly safe. This is why x-rays are allowed for medical purposes. And the small number of stray x-rays that do end up leaving the setup and hitting me or anybody near here are nothing compared to getting on an airplane, getting a CT scan, getting an x-ray, or just living your life and being exposed to background radiation. That being said, I'm still gonna put this iron dome around the whole thing because it's gonna look sick. God. Oh my God, William, is that lead? Lead is really dangerous. Oh my God, is that a safety nerd? Safety nerds are annoying. <laughs> think of all the scientists that died over our history of doing science. Those are the only ones you think about. Those are the only ones they tell you about in school are the cool scientists who died doing science. No one ever talks about the safety nerds. The Iron Dome is in place. This means it is time to turn on the x-ray machine. There's no way x-rays are gonna get through these gaps or this channel on the side. I caved to the safety nerds. I put warnings on it. Let me show you. Hopefully this makes it really clear that it's dangerous and you need to stay away from it. We got real x-ray machine. The radiation warning symbol. If it's a hissing, X-rays, it's a pissin. And finally, a little something for people who have no idea what radiation or X-rays is. Protect my god dogs. Look it, look how ferocious the dogs are. They'll take one look at those bad puppies. First, let's turn it on to make sure that it actually works. I haven't turned it on since I set all this stuff around it. Got my personal dose meter going. It keeps turning off. I'm not sure if I'm using it wrong or if it's broken, uh, whatever. Interesting, the extras seem to be leaving the shield. <laughs> That's a bad sound. It's popping to a can of beans. Damn it, why are the beans so close to the high voltage? This is getting ridiculous. Fixed the problem, had to replace the metal bean cans with cardboard boxes. <laughs> it kept arcing from, I think what was happening, I think that basically the sound you hear is like electrons kind of going into the air and they collect on things. And I think they collect on the bean cans and then they arc from the bean cans to the ground. I'm pretty sure that's what was happening. So I tried grounding them, that didn't work. I just replaced it with something that doesn't hold electrons as well as bean cans. What's the first thing we're gonna put inside the x-ray machine? How about my actual cell phone recording a video? Goodbye. The camera's set up. I'm gonna turn the lights off now. Uh, I'm gonna get my flashlight. That's sorry. I'm not getting shocked nearly as much. I think that the, uh, the lead is eating all the electrons. This is a good, good news. Okay, let's see how this looked. Oh my God. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's so much better. Whoa, that's so good. Holy crap. You can see the battery. You can see the camera. You can see the circuitry that like wraps around the battery. This is so cool. I wonder what the video on the phone looks like. We made an x-ray machine in the garage that takes pretty good pictures for only a couple thousand dollars. Well, that includes the camera too that I'm borrowing. All right, what else can we put in there? Come in, caretaker. There's nothing to fear. It's nice in here. Oh boy, are you excited? No, I can't go to bed. Why? It's, it's like two in the morning. You'd rather go to bed than see a really cool x-ray machine? I've been up for 20. Hours. Okay, you know what? Come here, come here. Come on over. Come on over, let me introduce you to what lives in our garage now, this way. So you see, look at this box. Does this look safe? No. Why not? If it's a hissing, x-rays, it's a piss. <laughs> You're so good at English. Okay, what do you want to x-ray? Find something to x-ray. I don't, I don't know if it is Do you want to x-ray my hand? Is it safe? Yeah. All right, so you know what to do? No. See, you see the switch right here? You literally told me nothing. Look at this, look at the switch. See this, <laughs> see the switch? When I tell you to, you're gonna flick that switch on. Okay. Got it? Yep. You're like a pro. <laughs> the microphone on the camera died, but we were successful in getting an x-ray of a hand. I cannot believe how good it looks. We did it, team. We showed the medical industry who's boss. It's us. Hi, I have a question. How much does an x-ray cost if I don't have any insurance? 
Um, so it can go from 170 up. So 170 is just the initial visit with the doctor and then x-rays are more. It's about $70 um, each um, site. Okay, so if I, if I need to get like my hand x-ray, that would be like $250 maybe, $300? Maybe or it could be higher. I just can't really say until you come in. Okay, what would make it go up? Um, just if they're doing other testing. $300 potentially or more. I bet you you could leave urgent care with a bill about the same price as I built this machine for. I'm not gonna get all political because I think everyone should build their own hospital in their garage. The price is right. I don't see why we can't just build our own equipment. We got the internet. How hard is it to find a broken bone in an x-ray? <laughs> I bet you it's pretty easy. A long time ago, I used to do all the cooking in the house because, Chelsea, come here. Because Chelsea had no idea how to cook. Ever, every time she was hungry, she would make, what would you make when you were hungry? Bean, bean tacos. tacos. <laughs> she would take a can of refried beans and... <laughs> this was like 10 years ago. Anyways, uh, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, which we've actually been using for the past two years. It is a meal delivery system where they deliver you all the ingredients you need already pre-portioned to make awesome meals. Everything takes, I think, like 40 minutes or less. They've got some meals that are even faster. And they've got a lot of stuff now, for summer specifically, that doesn't require use of an oven because the oven can make your house way hotter. Why do you do HelloFresh instead of just going to the grocery store? Oh, I use HelloFresh instead of the grocery store for all my meals. I don't use it for every single meal, but I use it for the majority because I... I get overwhelmed like coming up with like exciting things to make. I'll just make the same thing over and over. So it's making me try new things and I don't have to go to the grocery store when I'm feeling lazy and I just get home. From Who's work. a better cook, you or me? What define? I'm a better cook now. I think you're a more creative cook. Oh, thank you. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of meals. They even have vegetarian options. Right now, I'm cooking the chicken pecan royale. For this recipe, everything is cooked in the same oven at the same temperature to make it super easy. Prepping, cooking, and cleaning all took less than an hour. How is my cooking? Oh, good. Go to HelloFresh.com and use the promo code WilliamOsman14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping.